as you know, at Edmonton, we've got a ton of uh, bad weather. We've got a ton of snow and a ton of freezing cold temperatures. Rather than complain about Edmonton's weather. Try to take a stab at making a rink in my backyard, which is the first time I've done it. This father of four says his family's first backyard rink, aided by the snow dump and brutal cold, saved their mental health. As the dad, I was like, they're probably not going to use it too much because it's so cold. But, you know, they just they just bundled up, uh, they put their skates on, they would go out, their feet would freeze, they would come in, they would switch their skates out for boots and go back out on it. Hangout center, number 10. His kids use it every day. Look at those frozen eyelashes on Christmas. Jeff Nash wanted to document the process for his YouTube channel, how it can be done with stuff around the house. But mini Zamboni, obviously don't have one of those like using a cooler for a zamboni and in it number 31 but along the way Shadow noticed how it's not just helping the kids through their extra long winter break you know i think we've all doom scrolled on twitter all the bad news that's been happening and you know again mentioning the bad weather in edmonton it's snowed so much that i'm almost out on it every day to clear the ice to to do floods to, to build up the boards and you know for myself it's even taken me giving me a break a healthy break from all the madness uh, outside where it's quiet but as community league outdoor rinks like this one temporarily closed because of those extreme weather warnings environment canada meteorologists have been fielding questions is this cold record breaking and what about these piles of snow? Folks saying, you know, it's so long lasting and this is so weird. And I think it's just folks might have short memories. This meteorologist expects people are shocked to see an average snowfall after a few years of below average. And while parts of Alberta have broken daily cold records, the length of the snap is, well, just Alberta weather. Cold Arctic air outbreaks are long lasting just by nature because the air is so dense and heavy, it sinks to the surface and it's really hard to scour out that air once it's in. Saying the good news for those going stir crazy, Chinook Air is expected to reach Edmonton next week, pushing temperatures above freezing. Well, look how good he is, though. Oh. Which may bring more work for backyard rinks. A lot of hard work, but again, it's it's that hard work to mental break ratio that is it's very satisfying. I got some help from my my kids. For here. Nash, it's those positive memories made during what could have been an emotionally cold, dark time. Saying if you can bundle up and head out and connect with the elements for just a little bit. It is bad, but it's it makes you appreciate when you get back home and have a hot chocolate. You're like, man, it's it's really crappy weather in Edmonton, but hey, you know, it's just a break from everything. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News. Oh, you okay? Yeah. <laughs>